theory of relativity so this is an overview discussion and uh, yeah have you ever thought about the theory of relativity okay if not then I'm gonna teach you about a bit of it if yes then write your knowledge in comment section if you know it so I'm still waiting and yes I will reply too if I think this is correct and this is patient I will give a like to your comment so this is all about the kinematics along different vectors of dimensions. Vectors of dimensions refers to as the way or uh, the different way we see the world or the time space work excesses. This theory was stated by scientist Albert Einstein. So you know all about him. In order to explain the theory, he proposed two different theories which were sub topics one was uh, spatial theory of relativity and one was the general theory of relativity so I'm giving an overview not one of them let me start with this uh, line which is a nice line given by Albert Einstein so I've told you when you are with a nice girl an hour seems like a second when you sit on a red hot pan for a second it seems like an hour that's relativity and this was the formula given by Albert Einstein as you can see now let us move on to the basic discussion of the theory of relativity or I am just uh, giving you a simple overview of this theory and uh, so this theory says that this theory was formulated essentially by Albert Einstein that uh, all motion must be defined relative to a frame of reference and that space and time are relative which I have told you in the starting of my video and rather than absolute concepts so there were two principal parts which I have told again which I have told you earlier in my video uh, which were journal theory and the other one was special theory so here we know we come to know that uh, the relative the relativeness of anything to another thing is what defines the relation between the space and time what if we try to draw a space and time graph and it goes constant means everything is balanced in nature and for that let us uh, take an example which consists of an object which goes on at the speed of light and a clock and that object which goes through the speed of light uh, when we take it to the reference of that clock which is at the normal rate but now we consider with respect to the object that that the time in the clock has stopped and this is why this theory was discovered by Albert Einstein